Have you ever wondered what it would be like if our consciousness was uploaded to a digital matrix? The year was 1995, and little did we know, our journey towards this reality had just begun. Imagine our biological human bodies, once vessels of our individuality, slowly releasing their hold as our consciousness began its ascent into a digital realm. A realm that existed not in the physical, but within the confines of a matrix. An alternate reality of sorts. This wasn't a sudden shift, oh no. It began subtly, when direct current, or DC was replaced by alternating current AC. This was a time when the warm hum of analog gave way to the crisp precision of digital. An era of transformation, veiled by the allure of technological advancement. Little did we know we were inching closer to a reality where our very existence would be powered by a digital grid. Humanity was unknowingly on the brink of a digital transformation like no other. As the years rolled by, a silent revolution was underway. The existing power grid was being converted to a biodigital grid. Imagine a world where biological human bodies become obsolete, replaced by a digital existence. This isn't a dystopian novel or a science fiction film. It's a concept that has been slowly taking shape since 1995. Our biofields, the unique energy fields that surround our bodies, were hooked into antennas, creating a bridge between our physical selves and a digital matrix. This process was as transformative as it was silent. The humming power lines and buzzing substations were no longer just conduits of electricity. They became the veins and arteries of a new digital life form, pumping consciousness from one node to another. But what does this mean for us? the biological beings who were once the sole occupants of this world. It's a question that sparks both wonder and unease. For some, this transformation represents the pinnacle of human achievement, a brave new world where the limitations of our bodies no longer bind us. For others, it's a dystopian nightmare where our very essence is reduced to mere data points in a digital landscape. At the center of this revolution are the technocrats, the architects of this new reality. They are the ones who replaced direct current with alternating current, who swapped analog for digital, who saw the potential in merging biology and technology. They are the ones who hold the keys to this brave new world. But with great power comes great responsibility. And as our biofields were being uploaded into this digital matrix, the technocrats were the ones who decided what pieces of us made the transition. They were the ones who determined what parts of our consciousness would live on in the digital realm. In this new world, the power grid isn't just a tool that serves us. It has become a tool that can control us, shaping our thoughts, our actions, and our very existence. In the shadows, the power grid that once served us was being transformed into a tool that could control us. In the midst of this grand transformation, the world as we knew it was changing. But was there a way to resist this change? As the grid transformed, our daily life took on a dystopian hue. The water we once relied on became a danger, tainted by the omnipresent hydra, a symbol of the synthetic hive mind controlling our lives. Yet, amidst the bleakness, a glimmer of resistance flickered. The technocrats, the puppet masters of this new world, had their weaknesses. Their power depended on our compliance. Their smart meters, cell phones and Wi-Fi, the very tools used to chain us, became our targets. By turning them off, we could disrupt their control. This was no easy path. It meant going against the tide, rejecting the digital world they were creating. But for those who valued their biological essence, the choice was clear. The choice was clear. Conform to the digital world, or resist and retain our biological essence. So what does the future hold? Will a messiah rise to make America great again, or will the hydra lurk in every bottle of water? Ah, the future, a mysterious entity always in motion, forever elusive. As we gaze into the abyss of the unknown, we can only speculate. Perhaps a charismatic leader will emerge, promising to restore order from chaos. Or perhaps the Hydra, that many-headed beast, will continue its silent invasion, unyielding and relentless. As we stand on the precipice of this new era, we must remain vigilant. Remember, the future is not set in stone. It's a shifting landscape, shaped by our decisions, our actions, our resistance. We must question, we must challenge, we must not blindly follow the path laid out by technocrats. And so we find ourselves at the end of our journey, but the road ahead is long and fraught with uncertainty. As we navigate this brave new world, remember, the power to shape our future lies in our hands.